Lord. Coming back at child. I'm coming out. I want the world to know this show. I'm coming out. I want the world to know. Got to let it show, Hansi. It's a new me coming out. I have to live. I want to give. Completely positive. I'm going to do it like you never knew. Yeah. The time is coming for me to break out of my shell. I'm coming out. I want the world to know. Show. Gotta let it show, shorty. I'm coming. I want the world to know. Yes. Lacey bought some more. Giving y'all an update on my Lipo 360 situation, no? Huh? Yes. Okay, I got a dilemma. My dilemma is a mystery. My menstrual popped up on me yesterday, and I'm bloated. I'm actually bloated. Oh, shit. I'm bloated, yep. And I cannot fasten up my fire high. I can't buckle up my fire high. I went and got it altered, took an inner size, because... Yeah, I went and got a took an inner size because my waist is steady striking. But I came on my menstrual yesterday and now I cannot buckle my fire high because I am bloated. So I'm walking around with no compression right now, no support on my abdomen. But I feel good though, you know. Look, the best part right now, I'm two weeks out post-op, is um, not retaining any a lot of fluid anymore. Um, like past that phase of retaining a whole bunch of fluid. Um, like I said, my waist is strength, and I actually lost two more pounds since the surgery. I lost two more pounds. I didn't expect to be losing weight like this when I uh, watched the other girls' videos from their Lipo 360 and their BBLs. Nobody was really talking about too much weight loss. It was more like a shape thing to, to give them a shape, a, a different figure. Nobody really talked about too much weight loss. But I want to say that my detoxing each morning is probably contribute to, contributing to that because I drank ginger lime, hot ginger lime every morning when I wake up. I take my CMOS capsules, my B complex vitamins my vitamin d3 i do all that supplement situation every day and when i do eat i eat like in the afternoon the middle of the day maybe 12 one o'clock when i do eat and i eat moderately and then at night i eat light before i go to bed and i'm drinking a lot of water so i have lost seven pounds since the surgery right now i don't have any compression on no support because, like I say, I'm bloated from my menstrual and I'm not able to buckle up my fire high because I just got it altered, took it in because my waist is like strengthening, but I'm bloated. So, what I have been wearing this that I got off of Amazon, um, some type of shapewear. I've been wearing this for to try to get some type of support, but this is like a large. I got this before my surgery. I was wearing this before my surgery, so this is not really giving me the support and the compression that I need. I would need like a small, a medium to a small for this to actually give me some type of support. But yeah, but this is what I look like in a dress. I'm not holding in my stomach, and I'm actually bloated from my menstrual. Um... I'm not, I don't have my fire high on. I 
I don't have a waist trainer on. I have nothing on. And this is what I look like in a dress. <laughs> now, I still have the rolls on my back. But it's not as in depth as it was before the surgery. I had like real big, I had three big rolls on my back that you can really see. But they're actually dissolving. I'm going to do some skin tightening to help get rid of the, the rolls on my back. But I'm coming along just fine. Two weeks post-op, I'm seeing results. Um, but like I said, my dilemma right now is um, menstruating and I'm bloated and I cannot buckle up my fire high. I'm bloated. So when I come off my menstrual, then I get, then I go back to my routine. But um, oh, also I'm having problems with dents in my skin, impressions with these boards. These boards are giving me impressions. And they say if you use them, put them on too long, or um, not if you leave the indents in too long and don't try to get them out, the impressions, they can be permanent. So what I've been doing when I've noticed I have impressions in my skin is I'll take a warm, I'll wet, I'll, I'll wet a towel, um, I'll put it in the microwave, warm it up, and I'll put the heat to my skin, and that'll help me be able to like massage out the uh, the impressions, the dents in my skin. Um, but uh, I'm coming along good besides the bloating. I'm not able to wear the fire high or button it up because of my menstrual and the, 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 the dents, the impressions in my skin from the pads. I'm watching that. My, my body, my shape is coming in. Hit like and subscribe because I'm going to be either going to the gym later on tonight, most likely not, because it's raining outside and I don't like driving in the rain. So, maybe tomorrow I'm going to Supreme Sports. They have everything out there in Columbia, Maryland. I'm going to work on my gluteus maximum. Look at that booty. Work on that. And I'm going to work on my thighs, my legs, and my arms, and my back. See, I got a lot of fat up here. So even with the Lycra 360, when it brung in my waist, I still got a lot of fat. So it looks kind of, it looks weird with all that fat on my upper back. I got to figure out what I'm going to do about that situation. I'm coming up. I want the world to know. Got to let it show. I'm coming. What y'all know about that Diana Ross? Ah, where my 40 and over crew? 40 and 50 over crew. Show, show yourself. Show yourself. Ah, hit like and subscribe. And go with me and ride with me on my fitness journey. Yay! I want the world to know. Got to let it show. Come in.